fresh coffee Saturday morning. Are you serious? I'm going to be doing a news run rundown in a minute. That's awesome. But there's horrible things happened yesterday, including same-sex marriage passed in New York, the state of New York, by a vote of 33-29. And this morning, Governor Como signed it into law. In 30 days, it will be official. That same sex can get married. Can I share something with you that came to me from Paul in California? This guy, what awesome stuff he just brought me. And, and I just got to share it, okay? You're all right with that? Are you serious? God is not mocked. Matter of fact, let me read the scripture to you. It's found in Galatians chapter 6, uh, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Now, let me give you some examples of some people who mocked God and then reaped what they sowed. Uh, John Lennon. Of course, John Lennon of the Beatles. Some years before... Uh, his death during an interview with an American magazine he was asked and he said Christianity will end it will disappear I do not have to argue about that I am certain of it Jesus was okay but his subjects were too simple today we are more famous than he was Lenin after he said this was shot six times and died uh, the president of Brazil, Tangriado Neves, Tangrio Neves, during his presidential campaign, he said that if he got a half a million votes from his party, not even God would remove him from the presidency. Sure, he got the votes, but the but he got very sick the day before his inauguration as president of Brazil and he died. Um, Cazuza. Cazuza was a Brazilian composer. He was bisexual. He was a singer and a poet. And during a show in Rio de Janeiro, while still smoking a cigarette, he puffed out some smoke into the air and said, God, that's for you. He died at age 32, horribly from AIDS. The man who built the Titanic, we all know the story, after the construction of the Titanic, a reporter asked him how safe the Titanic would be. As ironic as you could be, he said, not even God can sink it. Of course, it sank on its maiden voyage from England to New York City in 19. 12. Marilyn Monroe, she was visited by the Reverend Billy Graham during a presentation of a show. He said to, that the Spirit of the Lord sent him to preach to her. After hearing what the preacher had to say, Marilyn said, I don't need your Jesus. A week later, she was found dead in her apartment. Bon Scott, he was the ex-vocalist of ACDC. Remember him? On one of his 1979 songs, he's saying, Don't stop me, I'm going down all the way, down the highway to hell. On the 19th of February in 1980, Bon Scott was found dead. He had choked to death on his own vomit. What did I say that scripture said? I'm not done. But what did that scripture say again? Let's read it again. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And in 2005 in Campinas, Brazil, a group of friends were drinking and they went to pick up a friend. The mother who was accompanying to her to the car, walked out with her daughter to the car, was so worried about the drunkenness of her friends that she said to the daughter holding her hand, who was already seated in the car, please, my daughter, don't go. But if you do, may God go with you and protect you. 
the daughter responded and said, only if he travels in the trunk, because inside here, it's already full. Well, hours later, the news came to the mother by way that they had been in a terrible automobile accident, fatal accident, in which everyone in the car died. The car was so destroyed and totaled and mangled that it was unrecognizable what even type of car it was. The only thing that was still intact, surprisingly, was the trunk. And in the trunk was a carton of newly purchased eggs. And not one egg was broken. Christina Hewitt, a Jamaican journalist and entertainer, said the Bible, or the Word of God, was the worst book ever written. In June of 2006, she was found burnt beyond recognition sitting in her motor vehicle. And many more important things have happened. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Can I say this? I'm going to read that scripture one more time. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, the Bible says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. Have you said you're going to party in hell? Have you said that when you get there, we're just going to throw a big party? There's no party in hell. Have you told people, oh, if I go to church, the roof will cave in, I'll never go? Don't say that. I know a pastor. He's about 80, 85 or 86 here in northern Indiana. A wonderful, powerful man of God. Before he became a Christian, he was a contractor. He built buildings. <laughs> I'm getting a call right now. Is it God? No. It's not God. But it is a friend of mine. And I'm going to call them right back in a moment. Because I have to tell you the story. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll call this guy back, though. Don't worry. Oh, give me one second here. Now, this is live. This is when you know you're watching live YouTube videos. Good guy, though. This pastor who was a contractor who built lots of buildings and commercial buildings was, was contracted to build a church, the Bible Baptist Church of Knox, Indiana. Beautiful facility. It was back in the 1959 or late 50s that he built this church. This pastor had always said at the time, he wasn't a pastor, he, was, he wasn't even saved, he wasn't born again. This man had always said that no matter what, he would never go to church and give his heart to Jesus. Well, while building the church, it was putting in a baptistry. And as they were putting it in, one of the workers that worked for him, who was a Christian, said to him, Everett, we ought to... You ought to get saved, and one day you're going to be in that baptistry. He said, oh, no. Oh, no. You'll never get me in that baptistry. Later that day, while walking on top of scaffolds, he slipped and fell several feet and landed square of his back. Where? In the baptistry. A little over, he was injured, too. And a little over a year later, he attended a revival not far from there at a Baptist church, he went there to pick up, he was a man that he was angry at, he went there to fight him. But when he got there, he heard the word of God again. No, he didn't fight. He went to the altar and he gave his heart to Jesus Christ. Don't mock God. He became a pastor and a great pastor, a man of God. Don't mock God. You may not be as fortunate as Pastor Everett. You may not be as fortunate to fall into the baptistry. Unfortunately, as I've just read to you, many people have fallen to their death and many are falling into the pits of hell. I'm Paul Begley. Oh, I'm serious this morning. And I'm going to be right back with the news rundown. But thank you to Paul of California for giving me this powerful information so that I could share it with you and with all my friends. God bless each and every one of you. God bless you.